for many years. The standard airborne early warning aircraft of the NATO National Air Force is the American E-3A Sentry. Developed from the Boeing 707 frame, the E-3 Sentry was officially launched in 1977 and has been operating steadily for over 40 years. E-3 Sentry features a last rotating disc on its back, which is an ANAPY passive face array radar with a range up to 650 km. It is likened to an extremely reliable air traffic control station. Although still in the good state of operation, but by the frame was too old, NATO had to find alternative candidates. After many rounds of evaluation, they finally chose the E-7. Michael Kosman at the NATO agency that manages the AWACS fleet told Reuters that NATO could follow the lead of member states Britain and Turkey in purchasing the E-7. Those aircraft, he said, were last enough to add potential new capabilities such as operating drones for expanded surveillance in coming years. The Boeing 737 Airborne Early Warning and Control origin came from the Project Westerl when the Royal Australian Air Force requested a new generation of early warning airborne aircraft and designated E-7A Westerl. The Australia placed a contract worth more than $1 billion with Boeing in December 2000 for the development and supply of this program. Boeing is the prime contractor for the program and team panels include Northrop Grumman's electronic sensors and systems, Boeing Australia and BAE Systems Australia. The first two aircraft were delivered to the Royal Australian Air Force on November 26, 2009. These two aircraft entered into service with Royal Australian Air Force in April 2010. A total of six E-7s were ordered from the Royal Australian Air Force. The sixth and final aircraft were delivered in May 2012. On May 26, 2015, Australia's fleet of six E-7A Westerl Airborne Early Warning and Control aircraft achieved final operational capability. This occurred after the aircraft supported search operations for MS-370 and took part in Operation Okra, flying 1,200 hours during more than 100 sorties in the fly against ISIL. The E-7 Airborne Early Warning and Control System is a unique blend and high-performance aircraft and mission equipment. It is based on the Boeing 737 Next Generation design, roughly similar to the 737-700ER, an aircraft offering 21st century avionics, navigation equipment, and flight deck. The aircraft is equipped with two CFM International CFM 567B27A engines, each rated at 27,300 pounds, equipped with dual annular combustor for low emissions capability, common core and low pressure turbine. The aircraft has an operational ceiling of 12,500 meters and a range of more than 6,500 kilometers. Because of its high technology, the aircraft has minimal crew requirements. A base operating crew is two pilots, while mission specialists and electronics analysts manage the onboard equipment. The aircraft uses the Northrop Grumman Electronic System Mantero Electronically Scan Array Radar. The airborne electronically scanned airborne early warning and surveillance radar is located on a dorsal fin on top of the fuselage, dubbed the top hat, and is designed for minimal aerodynamic effect. The radar is capable of simultaneous air and sea search, fighter control, and aerial search with a maximum range of over 600 km. When operating in loop tail mode against fighter sized target, the maximum range is in excess of 370 km. When used against maritime targets, the maximum range is over 240 km for a figure size targets. Mantero Electronically Scan Array is capable of simultaneously tracking 180 targets 
and conducting 24 intercepts. In addition, the radar antenna array is also dubbed as an alien array, with a maximum range of over 850 km at 9000 meters altitude. The 10.8 meters long by 3.4 meters high antenna assembly incorporates 7.3 meters long by 2.7 meters high side emitting electronic manifold array with a top hat supporting array providing 120 degrees coverage on port and starboard side while the top hat array itself provides 60 degrees fore and aft thus providing a complete 360 degrees coverage the radar's beam can be set for a 2 degrees to 8 degrees width while scan duration can be set from 3 seconds to 40 seconds. Radar signal processing equipment and central computer are installed directly below the antenna array. Other modifications include venture fins to counterbalance the radar and countermeasures mounted on the nose, wingtips and tail. In-fly refueling is via receptacle on top of the forward fuselage. The cabin features eight operators' consoles with sufficient space for four more. The Australian fleet will operate ten consoles with space for two more. It can be said that the E-7 Westel is a highly advanced aircraft, providing an airborne early warning and control platform that can gather information from a wide variety of sources, analyze it, and distribute it to other assets. The E-7 has also been selected by the Turkish Air Force, the Republic of Korea Air Force, and the United Kingdom. It has also been purposed to Italy and the United Arab Emirates. My video of E-7 Westerdale ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.